So, here we have a game that, unlike the last one, is very different in tone and setting. This is Magical Delicacy. Uh, and I started recording here because they're asking for accessibility settings. So I think I want to take a look at that because I'm always a fan of seeing how accessibility can be catered to depending on a game. So what have we got? Skip reaction mini games, disable hold inputs, disable control controller button cross. Wait, hello. Disables most timing related platforms, various level hazards and slows down moving platforms. Skip all reaction based mini games such as during cooking and harvesting. Replaces replace inputs where you need to hold a button down with a normal button press. I think I may pick that one actually. I don't. It's fine sometimes with holding buttons, but if it's in the middle of a heated moment in a game, I tend to not be a fan of it. When using a controller, the button prompts in the lower right represent the position of face buttons. You can turn it off if using a device without this button. I'm gonna keep it there. Font type. Oh, cool. Hey, look at that. Default, hyper legible, and open dyslexic. I'll keep to the default. Or actually, I like hyper legible, actually. Disable dialogue effect. Any effects like bouncing or shaking words during dialogue. Uh, I think I'm okay with that. Autoplay dialogue. I'll keep that off. Slow dialogue text immediately. Skip the animation of dialogue text appearing. We'll disable dialogue autoplay. Okay. Visual. Always outline flora. Enable a constant outline around your player character for better focus distinguishability from the background. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Dim the background for better readability between player platforms and the environment. And nightmare bright. Nighttime brightness. Increase the brightness at night. Wow. You know, that's actually quite a... That's really cool that they have that many options for you. There's the audio... The resolution, the audio is actually pretty, is pretty balanced. I think you guys can hear me, right? Okay. Tutorial and hints, yeah, I think I'm okay with those. Save and close. So, this is Magical Delicacy, which from the looks of it is a platformer that is kind of slice of lifey, but also a game where you're like a fantasy cook, which, you know, Cooking is like a mini game or some kind of side job thing. Uh, I feel could always be expanded on to be something more core to the gameplay. And I feel like this game uh, could have that. So yeah, I saw the pixel art of it and I thought it was really charming looking and yeah, let's give it a try. This is a pre-release demo. The playable content may differ from the final game. Well, I can already say for certain, I'm impressed with the amount of accessibility options that they are putting into this. Like, genuinely, I'm really, really surprised at it. So, that's a positive start. I grew up on the small island of Ulport in the north. No one there understood a lot about witches. There were stories from of the faraway town of Grot, known to attract adventurers from all corners of the kingdom. A traveler once told me about other witches who were supposed to live there, respected masters of their professions. Today, on my 21st birthday, I'm setting out for Grot, hoping to find a mentor and a place where I belong. Okay. So kind of like, uh, kind of gives me Kiki's delivery service energy. All right. And it said control stick, but I can use the D-pad just fine. Oh, I love the detail. Ooh. Hold A to jump further. Higher and further. Okay. What's down here? Nothing. Okay. Oh, oh the, the town in the background looks so nice. Wait. Oh, little frog person. Use up to move vertically while moving towards stairs to climb or descend them. Okay. Press... Uh, I think that's... Yeah. Uh, left face button to interact with characters. I'm using my 8-bit dough for this, by the by. Have you seen the giant ship that just docked? Of course, I was on it. 
Wow, I haven't been on a big one like that. It must have been quite the journey. Welcome to Grot. Thanks. All right, so we're a witch, not a cook. Welcome to Grot. Cabal, so that's what they are. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Heige. Hi Heig? Heige? Heig? I'm gonna go Heig. Secretary of Town Administration. I wasn't expecting a welcome committee. Are you Flora Felica? I think this is how you pronounce that name. Felica? I think. The witch from up Allport? Uh, that's me. Please know that you're more than welcome here in Grot. This town is full of people that require a little help. Especially from a talented witch. Not sure if that applies to me yet. I know you'll do just fine. We have found the perfect place for you already. Please follow me. Boy, is that the fantasy. Welcome to your new... Welcome to our... <laughs> Welcome to our, to our town. Here's a house and a business. And free public transportation. Let me see. Yes, this is it. A witch needs a proper space to herself. I thought you could make use of this old store. That's quite a service. The property has been empty for ages. <laughs> oh, no. See, now I know this is a fantasy. With some work, this could be a really cozy kitchen. But it's off the path. You may have to explore town to find some customers. I'd gladly sell it at a generous discount. Oh, sell it. Okay. Still, though. Ha, we can't just give it away, can we? So, okay, I do have to buy it. But the fact that I'm even being shown a decent property, you know. Do I look like I can afford this? Darling, I've never heard of a witch unable to take root. Look at this. Look at it as an interest-free business loan. Just pay the town back when you can. Why don't you go inside and have a look around? Give that old kitchen equipment a try. There's a great blacksmith over in the plaza if, if it needs upgrading. Please come visit me at the town hall with any concerns. And, of course, the payment for this property. Okay. Cute little interior, too. Whew, I thought I heard the old gall, gall ball clerk there for a second. She can't know I'm staying here. Oh, are you lost? What are you looking for? Nothing to collect but old cookware. Who are you exactly? Hina. I live here? I just bought this place. Well, rented? I'm not sure about the details. You don't look like you can afford it. Excuse me? Ugh, that clerk has thrown me out of two places already. I can't move again. You're welcome to be my roommate. Do I get a say in that? No. Great. Any plans for this place? I'll turn it into the greatest kitchen in town. Color me impressed. You must know I'm a real witch. Duh, your hair is a dead giveaway. But you should prove your almighty witch skills. Almighty, all right. All I do is cook. Then cook something for your new roommate. Haven't had a decent meal in days. How about a nice stew? There's still... There's little you can do with this sad variety of cookware. Sure. Ugh, fine. Terrific. Nothing spicy, please. Everything you pin will be shown in a separate area on the left of your screen. You can use these notes to keep track of what to do. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I like that. Press R3 shelf to open and close your pinned recipes and orders at any time. View your recipes by opening inventory, top face button, and navigate the, to the recipes by pressing left and right triggers. Okay. This, this inventory holds all your valuable ingredients needed for cooking. Timber shade. The small clustered mushroom thrives in wet shades in wet shades of the forest, but its resilience allows it to grow anywhere. And Ulport plum. They are brought by travelers from Ulport, whereas where this fresh plum is a common snack and on its own. And 
flesh is watery, refreshing, and excellent addition to rustic stews and soups. A specialty mixture of Old Port made from Old Port made from a variety of northern spices. Merchants are suspected of mixing cheap salts into it to increase their profit. And pine needles. The needles of an up Ulport pine are quite bitter and have many alchemical uses. A nutty scent fills the air when roasted. And horn peppers, slightly curled like a horn, like the horns of a goat. Its sharp smell makes even those used to spicy foods unable to bear it. I beg to differ. I could probably take it. All right, so we gotta cook something. The pot always requires fresh water from the sink. After filling it, you can select your ingredients to cook. Okay, so in that case, where's the sink? Yeah, quite a cozy game. Take this orb of water to a kit. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm a witch. Okay, so I can do that. All right, so the stew. What was the button again? Wrong one. I, for I forgot what the button was. There we go. So a stew. Avoid spicy. So that, some stock, and some needles. Some actions require you to pass a small reaction test. Press A, when, press down face button when the indicator passes the highlighted areas. This can be turned off in the accessibility settings. Oh, that's what that meant. Okay, when it said reaction stuff, I was like, huh? So that's what that means. You have started your first cooking process, which will take a little time now. Some kitchen tools, like the pot, can burn or overcook your food. Food? Your food. Stop the tool quickly once it's finished. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I have to be careful about, um, about how long this can end up taking. But thankfully, there's a progress bar on the side. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the property. This is your small backyard. Use it wisely to grow your own ingredients in this limited space. Interact with the soil to plant ingredients. Not all ingredients can be grown here. The ones that can are marked plantable. Select an ingredient to plant. Okay. Let's go with that. Your plants are robust, so there is nothing more to do now except wait. Once they've matured, you can come back and harvest them. Okay. Well, this is very cute. So yeah, this is uh, something of a life sim regarding um, what you can do in it. Or what you do fully. Your first cooking task is finished. Get back to your kitchen tool and collect your meal. Be quick if the, be quick if the tool can burn your meal. Oh, that was a curry. Deliver your prepared meals to the people that requested it. Select deliver when interacting with them. Okay, well, that's a curry, though. I, I need a stew. Can only sleep at night. Okay, so that's my bed. Nothing over here. Well, this is really nice. I could see this being a nice, unwindy kind of game. What's this? It reads, locked until construction measures are approved by the building authority. Signed, Administration of Grot. And barely legible footnote reads, Submitting Form 2, 1B of building regulations and paying mandatory fee are required to, pr to process with the approval process. Okay, so that essentially means, like, not available yet, but when, but you'll have to pay uh, to make it available. Alright, so in that case, let's go exploring for a little bit. Need to hold off on that stew. Oh, wow, you can even see the reflection in the glass. That's pretty cool. So yeah, here we have the town, I guess. So let's take a look at everything. Loading times are quick. Hold down A to jump through, or to go through platforms, I know that. Okay.
Press right, left face button to interact with anything in the city. Okay, so it's all about gathering ingredients and just seeing if you can make stuff with them. Oh, hello! Strong Baker! Aha, the new witch! Soon everyone will know your name, am I right? Everyone shall know that you got your finest baking ingredients from si Signy? S Signy, I think. Have a look! Trade with merchants to acquire ingredients and other valuables. The prices of ingredients may vary between merchants. Okay. So I've got 106 of the currency. I could get some recipes. Requires oven. Okay, I don't have an oven though. Let's talk. Got everything for your baking needs. Nothing else. Okay. Worth a look. Ooh. Ow. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I do have obstacles I need to avoid. Oh. That was a bottomless pit. Okay, so the town's kind of a death trap, too. Alright. Ooh, there's the blacksmith. You look cool. Ah, a new customer. Excuse the heat in here. It's... It is not so comfortable. I'm Star, and you must be the new witch that just arrived. Whatever you need, I can make it. I'll give you a discount on a few basics if you promise to buy the rest of your kitchen tools from here as well. You see, you'll see, my work is worth suffering through this heat. Well, I do need a cutting board. You acquired your first keepsake. Press Y in the inventory to open your grimoire, then navigate to the keepsakes tab to view your own keepsakes. Okay. Let's talk. I can make you whatever you want. Is your kitchen coming together? Okay. So yeah, this this is the game. We are new we're a witch in a new town, and we're trying to pay off our pay off our landlords and just get to cook stuff up. Which honestly I'm pretty cool with. That's that's a neat idea. Again, I love the environments in this. This is a very nice looking game. Okay, there's my shop. You acquired a new kitchen module that can be placed at, uh, at any free slot in the store, provided there's enough space. Interact with the floor plan upstairs to enter the edit mode. Oh. Oh, you can do home arrangement too? Oh, I know some, I, I've got some friends who will adore this. Oh. Go to a module in the store and interact with it to edit it. Return back to the floor plan to stop editing. You can leave the store while editing. You can't leave the store while editing. Okay. So... Requires another free slot. Is this a free slot then? Ah! Okay. Well, now I see how that works. Requires at least two. Okay. And, I'm, and those won't be burned. So that's good to know. Do I have the stew recipe? Oh, wares are your finished creations, which can be sold in the store, uh, delivered to friends and customers, or used in a specific location. Okay. Recipes are general instructions for creating wares. Some require specific ingredients, others are more vague, allowing you to create different variations. You can also cook without a recipe at all. She probably has a floating knife doing the work. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so... Vegetable sandwich, marzipan, nut tart, old port rago, mushroom goulash, and vegetable sandwich. 
failed meal. Okay. Some of the ingredients didn't mash well. Okay. Good to know. Orders are what friends and customers have asked you to make them. All your active orders are shown here. You can pin orders to show them outside the inventory. And these are my keepsakes. Encyclopedia of Ultharia. Given to me by a traveler a long time ago. I've held it dearly ever since. It taught me... It taught me how... All about the world that I know. Store key. First modules. Okay. I'm gonna guess there's no real massive upgrade system that you need for your kitchen utensils. You just need to get the money to buy them. Let's see if this is how you do it. Okay, so if you want a, a much more streamlined experience, you can just get rid of those reaction-based button presses, which, you know what? That's kind of awesome that they included that kind of thing. Well, that's way more space for your garden than I thought there'd be. All right. Yeah, I don't have the recipe for a stew yet, so... I mean, I have that squash, but that's planted right now. Boiled mushroom. Not quite. And we have a day-night cycle as well. So that's good to know. I want to keep looking around. This is a big town. It's in here. Welcome to my store. I'm Sana. I have all kinds of herbs and flowers. I just can't resist their beauty. Let's talk some more. Herbs are such interesting plants with so many uses. Okay, and ask about harvesting. Oh, I'd love to talk about it. Properly harvesting plants around town takes pride and skill. Make sure to take only what you need from the plant and leave the root intact. If the root and plant stem are intact, their ability to regrow is impeccable. It's simply fascinating how they continue to grow le leaves and petals and fruits and seeds and so much more. So be careful what you take, and in a while they will regrow. But what about crop rotations though? That's important. Like, isn't, isn't crop rotation also a very important thing to, to keep in mind? I, I know about that from Delicious and Dungeon. Let's see. Nothing else here to do, and I don't have the money. Hello. Keen Trader. Whoa, ain't you a sight for sore eyes. Don't think I've seen a witch before. Really? I thought there were lots in Grot. Don't know what to tell you. At least they don't trot around the plaza like you do. I think it's been a while since Grot was full of witches. I think it's been a while since Grot was full of witches. Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you. Meet a real one. I'm Avery. I'm probably the best salesperson in town. Not that anyone keeps track. And I have some books that I'm looking to part with. I bet a witch like you could make use of them. They were basically written for you. For just a few beads, they are yours. Let's see. Fritters, crouton soup. Crouton soup? A soup soup made out. Okay, with crunchy croutons. I was thinking like making a soup out of croutons and I'm like, huh? Okay, that's the sell. I don't want to sell my stock. Uh, sure, I'll take those. Delicious and dungeon game would be kind of cool. Maybe it plays like Cooking Mama and Senshi's portions. <laughs> yeah. Give it time. They may They may make that considering how d popular del Delicious and Dungeon got. Oh, hi. We were just preparing our next journey on the river. I'm Laurent, leader of this journey. This m It's my first one as a lead. Got yourself a nice place, I heard. How did you... Yes, yes, we... River... River... Riverfarers. That's not... Huh. That's a, that's a way to spell river. We riverfarers know everything that's going on in this town. 
All the planning makes me so hungry, it's hard to concentrate. Could you bring us two warm meals to fill our stomachs? Found your first order in the city. Keep exploring to gather all ingredients and head back to the store and prepare it. Some orders require delivering multiple wares. You can deliver them separately at a time and the wares do not need to be the same, so long as they meet the requirements. Well, I think two weeks on the river will be draining. Well, I've got a vegetable curry. I've got boiled mushroom. Uh, hold on. Is this not? Well, I think I'm confused on this. I want some meals, but I but it's not letting me deliver. Refreshment for planning. What if I just gave a f the failed meal? No. Hmm. So deliver two meals, huh? But I have two meals that I can deliver. And I can't select anything else on here. Well, it's nice that you can also filter to uh, check which ones that you've got. Choose that. Deliver. I'm hitting the right button. It's the it's the left face button, right? I guess it. I guess it won't let me in. All right. At least I'm getting beads from breaking stuff around town. That's a plus. All right, but it's super late, so I should probably go back into my home and, and sleep. Yeah, I don't know how large this town is that you can explore, but I imagine it can be quite sizable. Oh, wait, hold on. Harvesting, can I check that real quick? I don't have any plantables. So they're probably not matured yet, which is fine. How long do you want to sleep? Okay, so I can choose to skip the time. Oh. No, you need like a full... fuller hours than that. There we go. Oh, that's nice. The music actually dynamically changes if it's day or night. That's nice. Come on, come on. The only thing that I am not the biggest fan of is how you kind of have to hold the particular directions to make the character go up and down stairs. Mmm. You totally are a witch. Oh, so this was... Oh. I see. So that counted as a stew. Okay. Good to know. It's so good. Really? You're my first satisfied customer ever. My parents don't count. Totally. Five out of five stars. Five stars... Five stars? What? Seriously? Where are you from? Seen nothing of the world, huh, Rumi? People rate how much they enjoy something with a number of stars. And five is the top tier. So it's the quality of the food. But everyone will have their own opinion. So hard to compare? Yeah. 
Got it. Have you visited the plaza? Go take a look around. See what's what. Get the word of mouth spreading and all. Standard business practice if you want to succeed. I'll hold down I'll hold our fort partner. Okay. So good to know on that. All right, well, I don't really have anything else I can cook at this time. I want to see, wait, hold on. Since it's been a few hours. I probably can't harvest them without those uh, gloves from the herbalist. That might be why I can't select anything. That or they're just not grown yet. I like that you actually have some uh, some interactivity interactivity with your uh, environment. Like when you walk past a wind chime, you're you cause it to go. If you walk by those candle holders, they also wiggle a little bit because you're brushing against them. Who are you? Hi, you look like you're new in town. I am. And you look like a witch. What brings you here? I wanted to learn more about being a witch. That wasn't possible where I'm from. So I decided to come here and try my luck. And you look like a little queen. I'm the daughter of Queen Gwen, actually. So that's what the crown is for. You're an actual princess, huh? That's Princess Rose Adelaide to you. It's fine, Amara. Friends call me Adelaide. You shouldn't befriend everyone you meet. It's dangerous, and not the sophisticated behavior expected from a princess. Anyway, back to you. How are you trying your luck? Cooking delicious and magical food. Sweet! Let me test your culinary skills. I will give you a bridge pass in return. You can't really get by without one. Allows you to hop over to the other side of Grot. Everyone has one, don't they, Amara? I'm sure they do. So what do you say? Can you bring me a sweet treat? Sure. So a pastry, anything in particular? No, just something sweet. Okay. Well, I don't have any of that right now, so we can try that later. Okay, so there's also, there also doesn't seem to be any particular time limit for, uh, for getting the, your food delivered. So that's a plus. So yeah, this seems like a very calm, low stress game that you can just chill out to for a little while. I like that. Okay, so it's the wrong kind of meal, I think. That's why it's not letting me deliver. In that case... So who's this cat person? Hello. Isn't it beautiful? The town, I mean. I made it my goal to chart every corner of it. My name is Kolo. It has always been my dream to explore the world. This island has still so much undiscovered, though. That's why I'm starting here. Here, take this map. It's not the most detailed, but it should help you get around. Feel free to fill in your own notes. See you around. Oh, that's cool. An incomplete town map of the town drafted by Colo. Flesh. Okay, left bumper for the map. Marker bundle. These small tokens can be placed on the map to... Okay, actually it would be nice to have, so I'll take that. Let's talk to you again. So much to discover. Okay. God, I love the look of this town. It's so cute. All right, what's this? Due to increased maintenance, the bridge to the west is only open to holders of an official bridge pass. Adelaide said she'd offer me one. Okay. So I need a pass in order to get past there. Fair enough. Everyone's helping each other out. Yeah. Like kind of a it's it's got a very communal vibe to it. I like it.
I remember seeing uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, and this game's giving me energies of that in particular. This is very charming. Okay, so was it this person? You're the blacksmith. Got a cutting board. Install module. Uh, I don't need that right now. What I would like... I need some recipes for... Uh, for my shop. But what I could also use... Yeah. 400 for, for a pair of gardening gloves. That's... That's insane. An occupational tool costing 400. All right, so there's our shop. I don't have any, do I have any treat recipes? Let me take a look. I can't, wait. It's keepsakes, there's the characters, and here's our encyclopedia. Okay. Okay, we know nut tart, we know marzipan. And that's kind of it. Wait, oh, that's cool. So in the uh, in the uh, in the UI to the right, we see that if there's a recipe, uh, if there's a recipe that we have ingredients for, it shows that we have it in our inventory. That's really nice. I like that. Better to last for a century. Yeah. Yeah, like, the, like if you're paying $400 for a pair of gardening gloves, those things better outlive you. Like, they gotta be that good. So, judging from the looks of things, I don't have uh, the stuff for a tart right now. So, I need to keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking around in these areas. I didn't try going to the right here, and uh, that's why, because there's nothing. I think this is the baker. Yes. I have 127 pie, nut truffles, fabled kisses. I could buy some hazel, which I think counts for... Oh, they have a restock time at the bottom, too. Oh, that's neat. Wow. That's actually really cool. All right, so one hazel should be enough for making that. So let's try how, let's see how that goes. Ow. You know, this isn't the kind of game where I'd expect to actually have damaging spikes or instant death pits. Like, I, like considering how cozy the game feels, like that's not, part of me kind of thinks we may get a double jump or something, I'm not, entirely certain, but I'm getting that feel. Uh, okay. So, water. And then... Let me see my recipes again. Okay, I need a crop as well. And I think... I think wheat would work. Oh, but I need a mortar and, mortar and pestle, probably. Would I? I don't know. Let's take a look. I probably don't need to keep going the long way around since I've got stuff for it. Yeah, she might learn magical abil magic abilities as time goes on. Yeah. Trans to braided hair. Buy another cup few of things. Okay, so far so good. Oh, well, that's really neat. They have uh, they have the characters' pronouns in their bios. That's cool. So let's see. Adelaide is she her. Amara is she her. Avery is they them. Haig is she her. 
Hina is she they, Kolo is she her, Laurent is he him, Sana is she her, Signe, 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 I think Signe, she her, and Star is she they. Okay, cool. Love to see that. That's really nice. I also find it nice that I'm just picking up currency by just walking around. Okay. So now that I've got a crop, let's see if we can try and make that make that uh that nut tart. And if we can do that, then I think we'll be able to get that bridge pass. Hazel, and there. See if that does it. Nothing to really plant. Wait, hold on. If I have a crop, aha! So I can make, I can plant that. Now, do I have any other things to check? Can I just... Hmm, part of me is kind of wondering if then I should just dump that, if I can learn to dump it. Hazel dumplings. Okay, let's see if that works. So this town got the same dilemma Yakuza has where people leave billions of dollars and all useful stuff laying around. Yeah, like, next thing you know, uh, next thing you know, we're going to be able to perform heat moves, uh, heat moves on random passersby, and uh, Majima will come out here with full pixel art style and be like, where's Kiryu? Okay, so no, it has to be a pastry. Well, that was worth a try. That was worth a try. Now, the question is, maybe I can give that to Lor- No. Wait, could I? It's a meal. Yeah, I think at some point I'll get some abilities that let me traverse a lot more fluidly. I like the music in this game, too. It's very calm. I don't see if I've got any kind of health bar, so I'm not really understanding why I can take damage. prepare pastry with the cutting board. Oh, God. And... Trade. Well, now I know. And I also know that, that uh, not everything will be constantly in stock, so that's a that's something to know as well if you're get when you're getting into this game. Yeah, so far this is nice. Uh, ooh, actually highlight the the damaging thorns. Okay, so those uh, stone things sticking out of the ground that's got that have uh, ribbons or something attached to them that makes me think that I may get a grappling hook ability at some point. Just a thought. All right, so. Use your own map markers to mark locations that you want to remember. Press A, press a bottom face button to place markers, and then once again to delete it. You can choose different colors with Y. Okay. So that's where the, okay, so that's where the bridge is. That's the harbor. That's where the baker is. This is where the blacksmith is, I think. And this is somewhere different. Okay. Well, that's a good map, actually. That's a really nice map. 
All right, let's get... Let's see, it's like... Nearly midnight. Seven hours. Okay, that's five in the morning. Give you another three. There we go. Always get your full hours of sleep, people. Like, I, I remember, it was really funny. I, um, I saw somebody post a picture... I saw somebody post a picture of a, of a cannabis drink that they had at a friend's house and how they were pissed that they missed their Sunday mass because they slept in so much. Like, they slept like nine to ten hours and felt fully rested, but they were mad that they missed it. And I'm like, gee, maybe you needed the fucking sleep. But they got, but they were mad because they were like, boy, how is this legal? It's like, come on. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm going to double check to make sure I'm doing this right with the recipes. Ingredients, where's, here we go. Nut truffles. Honey spark sugar. Oh, okay, I need sugar. Okay, so it can't just be right, and I need an oven for that, not a pot. So where do I get an oven? Oh, but I don't have the money for an oven. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there's so much to have to remember on this. Um, and I feel like, okay, little thing, I feel like the harvesting gloves feel kind of essential to have when you're growing your... Never mind. Okay, so it just it just takes a while. Never mind. I was thinking, like, are those a required tool for you to have to, you know, get your crops? If so, then that feels like kind of a... Um, that feels kind of not fun for a game to lock you out of being able to harvest your crops when you can do it this early. But I was wrong. All right, now recipes. We need meals. Mushroom noodles, wheat flour. I need a mortar and pestle too. Wheat flour, huh? So I need a mortar and pestle and I can get one from the baker. I can't make another nut dumpling. Okay, there's another. I was like, where are the other recipes I had? Here we go. Okay, yeah, I see what I'm, I see. In that case, how about we head back to the baker? How much was the mortar and pestle again? Now, my other question regarding this is whether or not I can remove some of the, uh, if I can remove some of the places that I put uh, utensils in. Do I have... Okay, you just sell recipes, so the blacksmith has the mortar and pestle. But yeah, like, I, I'd picture uh, picture our main character picking up a platinum plate like in Yakuza, uh, or like a coin locker key, like some kind of collectible situation. All right, where's the blacksmith? I think it's left... No, it's the bridge. Okay, so that's the baker, and I think the baker I'm going to put that down and the blacksmith once I find where the blacksmith is I'm going to put a marker down there that's pretty cool though that you can just kind of put markers down like that and people disappearing in cutscenes yeah people disappearing in cutscenes and then uh, ragdoll physics 
Okay, this is the blacksmith. Uh, map. So about here. Here we go. Trade. Ah, I'm just, um, I don't have enough. So if I can make another meal, then I can get the river, river explorers, their stuff, and then, let me see. What are my current meals? Okay. So if I just need to make one more meal, and then I can afford to get some stuff. So I guess I need to just do another nut dumpling. Which I'm fine with. Just means that I gotta... Potentially get some more of the... Crops later. There we go. I could definitely see... I could definitely see myself getting lost in this game for a little while. That This could... This could absorb your time. Much like most life sims do. And I'm speaking as somebody that once that racked up over 200 plus hours in Stardew Valley, so I understand the appeal, believe you me. So yeah, I think maybe we'll do a few more requests and then I might stop after that. There we go. So we got two. So now we have two meals for those, for, for the adventurers. So I guess this is a town that hasn't exactly been fully explored as far as the multitude of things that are around. So that's interesting. All right, deliver. Oh, that's, oh, I see. Oh, thank you, that smells delicious. Now I can finally continue the planning. Please come back later. I'm sure we'll have more for you to do. Glad to help. All right, big money. All right, nothing in there. The cartographer is gone. And I've only got a stew and another nut dumpling. I think now I can afford the mortar and pestle, right? Trade. Yes. That's all I have for you now. I have a lot of work at the moment. But check back soon and I can make even more tools for you. Alright, cool. So then we move through here. And I think... I don't think I can buy any more grains from the baker unless I... Unless there are and I just missed them. Nope, nope, not that. Edit. There we go. Okay, so I can have all of that. Cool. All right, we pretty much have a complete kitchen right now. Some tools in, can enhance ingredients into new variants, but can only process a single ingredient at a time. Okay, in that case, uh, can't be done, can't be, can do that with hazel and timber shade, really. Well, uh, I'm gonna go buy some more wheat or grains from the baker, and then we can ground those up. Yeah, I think we are meant to get a double jump probably in the final game. Alright, trade. Yeah, I've got plenty. Uh, let's go with some honey spark. And then we can keep going. Yeah, I imagine a double jump could get really useful here for the event of, um, of traversal. 
But I just find it, I find it would be kind of funny though to just see a random witch double jumping around town like crazy. Like do, doing full on speedrun strats of like jump around and then jump canceling. Maybe try that trick with the Mario 64 infinite stairs where she does the long jump and then and then just starts flying up the stairs to the royal palace and freaking everybody out. All right. Let's grind that up. And then let's try that. I wonder if she'll make the glitch sound too. Yeah. Or if she'll just have a full on Mario. Oof. Wait, did I do the right thing? Hold on, I just did that without thinking. Ah. Oh, I made a parfait, fuck yeah. Okay, so I don't really need the ingredients for a... I don't really need the recipe for something in order to make it. I could just throw ingredients in and just see what happens. Oh, I like that. That gives me energies. <laughs> that gives me... That reminds me of back in the day when I would be playing Dragon Quest IX and just be able to make super high-level items far along than what I should ever have uh, in the alchemy pot. Ah, the good old days. There we go. Sweet. A little extra for your effort. Seriously? And here's the pass I promised. Please, 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 please don't let tell Heige that, Heige that you got it from me. She doesn't like it if I keep them handing them out. Says they need to f the fee to repair the bridge. They should just repair it anyway. How much can it cost? As always, you're so out of touch. Whatever. Oh, right. Taste test. I like the little animations for all the ellipses. That's cute. You're not going to share even a bite, are you? It's amazing. I will take your word for it. I'm glad you like it. Right, um, spread the word. I'm sorry? Come by, okay. It's funny that they have the uh, animations here, but I'm glad they also have the option to change the animations off. Sweet, I will. Remember to hop on over to the other side of town. There's our palace at the, there's our palace at the top and many other places you'll love. Okay, so we did that. So we did the two meals and then we did the princess's want. And I don't really have any other requests right now, so... I think that, if any place, is a good area to stop since we've gotten the general gist of the gameplay. So I will save and quit. All right, well, that was Magical Delicacy. All in all, very cute, very charming. I would recommend this as a nice life sim for anybody that wants something to just do some calming gameplay to. And the fact that they have as many accessibility options as they do for things like the reaction-based button presses, the different kinds of fonts you can use, uh, and just the charming-looking world. I, I think this is something to keep an eye out on. 2024 is going to be an interesting year for a lot of interesting-looking life sims, and I'm glad this one is, is able to show off what it's got. And I think it's got something really cool. So, yeah, give this a wish list. It's got my endorsement attached. So, yeah, 